A Gomleton, Wikipedia article audio. A Gomleton is an atypical antidepressant developed by the pharmaceutical company Servier. It is marketed for the treatment of major depressive disorder, primarily for its relatively favorable side effect profile. It avoids the weight gain, sexual dysfunction, and withdrawal associated with the most commonly used classes of antidepressants, while providing similar therapeutic benefit. Due to its distinctive mechanism of action, agomelatin is also studied for its effects on sleep regulation. Studies report various improvements in general quality of sleep metrics as well as specific therapeutic benefits in circadian rhythm disorders. Medical Uses Major Depressive Disorder Agomelatin is indicated for the treatment of major depressive episodes in adults. Ten placebo-controlled trials have been performed to investigate the short-term efficacy of agomelatin in major depressive disorder. At the end of treatment, Significant efficacy was demonstrated in six of the ten short-term double-blind placebo-controlled studies. Two were considered failed trials, as comparators of established efficacy failed to differentiate from placebo. Efficacy was also observed in more severely depressed patients in all positive placebo-controlled studies. The maintenance of antidepressant efficacy was demonstrated in a relapse prevention study. A large meta-analysis of 20 trials with 7,460 participants found agomelatin to be as effective as standard antidepressants. Results of the meta-analysis of three positive, randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled studies in 357 patients treated with agomelatin and 360 patients treated with placebo show that agomelatin is effective in treating severe depression. Its antidepressant effect is greater for more severe depression. In patients with a greater baseline score, the agomelatin placebo difference was of 4.53 points. Controlled studies in humans have shown that agomelatin is at least as effective as the SSRI antidepressants paroxetine, sertraline, escitalopram, and floxetin in the treatment of major depression. A small open-label study has suggested efficacy in the treatment of atypical and melancholic depression. Well-designed clinical trials have demonstrated efficacy in the treatment of anxious depression. Agomelatin's onset of action has been reported to occur as early as the first week of treatment. However, the body of research on agomelatin has been substantially affected by publication bias, prompting analyses which take into account both published and unpublished studies. These have confirmed that agomelatin is approximately as effective as more commonly used antidepressants, but some qualified this as marginally clinically relevant, being only slightly above placebo. According to a 2013 review, agomelatin did not seem to provide a significant advantage in efficacy over other antidepressants for the acute phase treatment of major depression. Additionally, possibly because of its action on melatonin receptors, Agomelatin appears to improve sleep quality, with no reported daytime drowsiness. Agomelatin has demonstrated anxiolytic properties in rodents. It has been found significantly more effective than placebo in the treatment of generalized anxiety disorder. There is tentative evidence to suggest the efficacy of agomelatin as either a monotherapy or adjunct in the treatment of obsessive compulsive disorder. A case report documenting the efficacy of agomelatin in the treatment of social anxiety disorder has been published. An open-label study has found agomelatin to be efficacious in the treatment of seasonal affective disorder. Open-label studies have suggested efficacy of adjunctive agomelatin in bipolar depression. A study in mice found that it protected against pentaline tetrazole and pilocarpine-induced seizures.
A small placebo-controlled trial found some benefit of agomelatin in attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. A 2015 review suggested no recommendations of agomelatin in support of, or against, its use to treat individuals with seasonal affective disorder. Investigational It is not recommended for use in children and adolescents below 18 years of age due to a lack of data on safety and efficacy. Only limited clinical data is available on the use of agomelatin in elderly patients greater than or equal to 65 years old with major depressive episodes. Therefore, caution should be exercised when prescribing it to these patients. Agomelatin is contraindicated in patients with kidney or liver impairment. According to information disclosed by Le Laboratoire Servier on October 10, 2012, guidelines for the follow-up of patients treated with Valdozan have been modified in concert with the European Medicines Agency. As some patients may experience increased levels of liver enzymes in their blood during treatment with Valdozan, doctors have to run laboratory tests to check that the liver is working properly at the initiation of the treatment and then periodically during treatment and subsequently decided whether to pursue the treatment or not. No relevant modification in agomelatin pharmacokinetic parameters in patients with severe renal impairment has been observed. However, only limited clinical data on its use in depressed patients with severe or moderate renal impairment with major depressive episodes is available. Therefore, Caution should be exercised when prescribing agomelatin to these patients. Use in special populations Agomelatin does not alter daytime vigilance and memory in healthy volunteers. In depressed patients, treatment with the drug increased slow-wave sleep without modification of REM sleep amount or REM latency. Agomelatin also induced an advance of the time of sleep onset and of minimum heart rate. From the first week of treatment, onset of sleep and the quality of sleep were significantly improved without daytime clumsiness as assessed by patients. Agomelatin appears to cause fewer sexual side effects and discontinuation effects than paroxetine. It appears better tolerated than the SSRIs. Note, mania and hypomania are often due to an underlying disease, namely bipolar disorder. Contraindications No dosage tapering is needed on treatment discontinuation. Agomelatin has no abuse potential as measured in healthy volunteer studies. Adverse effects Agomelatin is expected to be relatively safe in overdose. Dependence and Withdrawal Agomelatin is a substrate of CYP1A2, CYP2C9, and CYP2C19. Inhibitors of these enzymes, e.g. the SSRI antidepressant fluvoxamine, reduce its clearance and can therefore lead to an increase in agomelatin exposure. There is also the potential for agomelatin to interact with alcohol to increase the risk of hepatotoxicity. Agomelatin is a melatonin receptor agonist and MT2 and a serotonin 5-HT2C receptor antagonist. Binding studies indicate that it has no effect on monoamine uptake and no affinity for adrenergic, histamine, cholinergic, dopamine, and benzodiazepine receptors, nor other serotonin receptors. Overdose Agomelatin resynchronizes circadian rhythms in animal models of delayed sleep phase syndrome. By antagonizing 5-HT2C receptors, it disinhibits slash increases noradrenaline and dopamine release specifically in the frontal cortex. Therefore, it is sometimes classified as a norepinephrine dopamine disinhibitor. It has no influence on the extracellular levels of serotonin. 
A gomlatin has shown an antidepressant-like effect in animal models of depression as well as in models with circadian rhythm desynchronization and in models related to stress and anxiety. In humans, a gomlatin has positive phase-shifting properties, it induces a phase advance of sleep, body temperature decline and melatonin onset. The chemical structure of a gomlatin is very similar to that of melatonin. Where melatonin has an indole ring system, a gomlatin has an aphthalene bioisosteer instead. Melatoninergic agonist and selective serotonin 5-HT2B and 5-HT2C receptor antagonist, metabolically stable analog of melatonin, QV. A gomlatin was discovered and developed by the European pharmaceutical company Servier Laboratories Ltd. Servier continued to develop the drug and conduct Phase III trials in the European Union. In March 2005, Servier submitted a gomlatin to the European Medicines Agency under the trade names Valdozan and Thymanax. On July 27, 2006, the Committee for Medical Products for Human Use of the EMA recommended a refusal of the marketing authorization. The major concern was that efficacy had not been sufficiently shown, while there were no special concerns about side effects. In September 2007, Servier submitted a new marketing application to the EMA. Interactions in March 2006, Servier announced it had sold the rights to market a gomlatin in the United States to Novartis. It was undergoing several Phase III clinical trials in the U.S., and until October 2011 Novartis listed the drug as scheduled for submission to the FDA no earlier than 2012. However, the development for the U.S. market was discontinued in October 2011, when the results from the last of those trials became available. Pharmacology It received EMA approval for marketing in the European Union in February 2009 and TGA approval for marketing in Australia in August 2010. A gomlatin is under development by Servier for the treatment of generalized anxiety disorder and has reached Phase three clinical trials for this indication, but in August 2017, Servier communicated that development for this indication is currently suspended. Pharmacodynamics Chemistry Structure Synthesis History Research <laughs>